a child's face tells the whole story. This was the big one. After hard-fought victories over Centralia, Herman, Palmyra, and John Burroughs along the way, Monroe City expected another battle with the championship on the line. Monroe City controlled the play from the beginning, but every time they got into scoring position, they would let the opportunity slip away. Finally, their big break came late in the first half. The snap flew over the Springfield Catholic punter, and the swarming Panthers' defense forced the safety. 2-0, Monroe City. After recovering the kick, Lamont White's catch helped Monroe City move into scoring position. Richard Comstock did most of the work from there. This run took it to the one-foot line, and from there, quarterback Ryan Watson bowled his way in. At the half, Monroe City had pitched a shutout at 9 to nothing. They played ball control in the second half. Richard Comstock here on the reception. This part of a 17-play, 89-yard drive, and Comstock will take it in for the touchdown. Monroe City up 15-0. In the fourth quarter, Lamont White with this 23-yard run, and on a 12-play, 85-yard drive, Richard Comstock takes it in from five yards out. Monroe City finished the scoring at 21 to nothing, and they win their second championship in three seasons. Two comparisons. We didn't earn that one. We didn't play. This time we came and played ourselves. My class played this game. Heck of a ball game. This is unbelievable. The defense stepped through. The line blocked hard. It was a total team effort, and this is what all hearts about. It's been a great ride.